you ever asked yourself why it seems so difficult to choose your own energy and yourself? It's not like you can't do it. It's more so if I do it, my life is going to be completely boring. That's at least how it felt for me. That's how it feels for a lot of INFJs. And I believe that this is actually one of the key ingredients that's going to make the biggest difference in your life is to understand that it's supposed to be boring. That just because it's boring now doesn't mean that it's going to stay boring forever. But if you're keeping yourself stuck on other people's energy because it feels better, it feels more exciting, it feels more alive than choosing your own energy and your own path, you're always going to feel miserable. You're always going to feel like something is missing because although other people's energy might be more exciting, might create more emotions for you, at the end of the day, it's not your energy and you will have to make compromises with yourself in order to tap into their energy. There are parts of you that you have to push down. There are parts of you that you have to neglect. And in many ways, you have to hollow yourself out in order to tap into other people's energies. And at the end of the day, it never ever leads to fulfillment, although we so often wish it would. So let's talk about today how we can turn our boring life into an exciting life and why choosing the boredom is the first and most important step. Before we get started, I want to remind you, if you haven't done this so far, to download the free poster on the INFJ Epic Life Formula. It is all about taking small steps in your INFJ Epic Life journey that are going to make the biggest difference. If you want to take it a step further, definitely get the INFJ Epic Life Audio Guide. I go really in depth there on what to do in your personal circumstance. And if you want my personal help, then work with me one-on-one. -on -one. All the details on how to work with me or get any any of my products you can find in the links in the description. We've talked a lot about choosing yourself and choosing yourself has so much more to do with just energy work because choosing ourselves means becoming whole, means leaning into becoming whole. And that also includes tapping into our last function, which is extroverted sensing. So it pretty much means you have to choose your reality. And we very often think if I choose my reality, a couple of things are going to happen. First, I'm just neglecting myself because that's not who I am. I am somebody who lives in their dream world. I'm somebody who enjoys the entire process of, you know, absorbing other people's energy, of imagining incredible things, of feeling all those emotions. And if I would really tap into reality, it would mean I'm giving all of that up. This is one of those things we just have a misconception about. Because the truth is, if you tap into reality, you by default are using everything that you've came up with, your worldview, your perspective, your take on things, your creativity, all of that is being pushed into the real world. Our last function, extroverted sensing, is all about conquering the world, conquering our physical environment, meaning we alter our environment in many cases through emotion, right? We change other people's perception and through that we create real change in the real world. Like we use the energy that is currently available, not the one that we can imagine, but the one that is really happening and then turn it into the next best thing. That is who we are. So the most important aspect to understand is that you choosing your reality does not mean you're giving up on yourself and you're pretending to be somebody else. What you're doing is you're integrating one more aspect into your life. The reason why we're so often not doing this is because it is completely boring. So much of our imagination has been created because we wanted to escape our reality. And so therefore our reality very often doesn't match up with what we can come up with in our mind. There's very often the discrepancy and this discrepancy you can see with all personality types when it comes to the first and last function. And for us, this is how it looks like. We have those great ideas of how life could look like, of what kind of relationships we could have, of all those amazing connections and images and just amazing concepts we can come up with and things we can create in our mind. And then there's our boring reality. And we very often are leaning towards our imagination, which inevitably leads to us having a more and more boring life in comparison. 
So what does that mean? Well, it means if you don't want to have a boring life for the rest of your life, if you don't want to feel miserable for the rest of your life, you have to take action in the real world. You have to put the blinders on. That's how it energetically feels like. You say, I'm not going to go overboard in my imagination. I'm going to force myself into reality. And through that, actually create a life that becomes less and less boring, where you feel like the discrepancy between what is going on in my mind and reality becomes less and less. And as long as we think we're betraying ourselves through that, as long as we feel like we're giving up, we're settling, if those are the emotions we connect with tapping into our reality, of course we're not going to do them. Of course we're going to stay back and stay in our mind. But you just can't stay in your mind all the time. And I'm going to tell you why. If you could stay in your mind all the time, you wouldn't ever think your life is boring. So if there's something in your life where you feel like, well, this isn't exciting, there is a part of my life that feels like, yeah, it doesn't really make me do anything about it. It doesn't motivate me. It doesn't make me feel like there's anything to get there. It's just this space that is completely useless. And this feeling is lingering within you. That's how it was for me. And so many INFJs that I've talked to have experienced the exact same thing. There is this part of, you know, something is missing. And as long as we have this feeling, we're always going to stay stuck because we don't know what to do about it. The only thing we have learned and taught ourselves is go into your imagination, imagine better things, escape from reality. But it's a form of escapism, you know, like watching shows all the time, doing things that are not in our best interest. It's actually taking steps in the other direction that is going to change our life forever. And that means that we have to choose our boring life. We have to choose our boring reality. That is extroverted sensing. So how does that technically look like? By the way, this is exactly what the poster INFJ Epic Life Formula is all about. This is what the audio guide is all about, taking that step in reality. Because what did my life look like when I started this journey? My life looked like I don't have a relationship that I really like, that I say, okay, this is something that has futures. This is something that is amazing. I might had some situationships that are based on so much of my imagination, but the reality of it was there wasn't anything going on. There wasn't something that was going towards a future that I wanted, which was I wanted to have a family at some point, I wanted to get married, and I wanted to settle down to some extent. Till this day, I don't like staying at one place. I like to move around. That's just part of who I am. But having a family was, for example, something that I wanted. And I wasn't doing anything actively in reality to make that happen. The next thing was my job. I knew that my job didn't fulfill me. There was some excitement there first, but I was going towards a life that made me have to compromise on things that I didn't want to compromise on that would actually force me to become more disciplined in areas that didn't matter to me in order to move up. And the list goes on and on. I wasn't really excited about my day-to-day -day life. I wasn't really excited about where I lived. I wasn't really excited about my friend groups. That was the reality of it. And so often I didn't want to look at those things because that is just such a point of pain. I wanted to escape this pain as much as possible. So I made up all of those ideas in my mind, all those things that made me escape from it but it never really works. You can't escape reality because reality is, believe it or not, a part of you. That is the main thing. We are INFJs, meaning there is also extroverted sensing in us. We have to tap into it. We're not giving up on ourselves. We're not betraying ourselves. We are actually becoming more whole. Because once I started taking action in the real world, my life became this amazing journey that didn't look like anything anybody around me was experiencing. It was uniquely me. It was still INFJ. I just didn't know it beforehand. But that can only happen if you allow yourself to choose your reality. To say, I'm not going to go overboard in my imagination. I'm going to choose my boring life right now because this is where I have to start. And the first thing that happens is you have to confront yourself with the immense pain of my life isn't this amazing thing that I made up in my mind. 
this is reality. And there's a lot of grief involved in that. There's a lot of, you know, I wish things could have been different. We have to imagine the life we thought we were going to have and we have to come to terms with, this is what has currently happened. This is what I have created so far. Because only once we confront ourselves with that and we grieve what could have been and understand this is, then we can move to the next step. And a great mental exercise that helped me was to say, what if it never got any better? So often I thought, oh, life is going to turn out better, things are going to develop, and that kept me from actively taking action. But if you ask yourself, what if I stayed in this apartment for the rest of my life? What if my friendships stayed the way they are right now? What if my relationships with my relatives that aren't super healthy, you know, stayed like this forever? Those are all the questions we have to ask ourselves because then we actively confront ourselves with what is. We are not giving ourselves the opportunity to escape in our mind. It's like, this is what is. And for us INFJs, because we're so future oriented, asking this question of what if it never got any different allows us to tap into what currently is. And once we, you know, grieve the process, once we, you know, get really sad and we feel all our feelings, we can then start appreciating gratitude for what we have created so far, because this isn't nothing. We have created something. We have created some kind of stability. We have created some kind of relationship dynamics that aren't all bad, right? And through that, we can take the next step. So that's where we talk about, okay, what are the next steps to take? How can I turn my life into a better version? Because what we do is we use our intuition as a North Star. And then we go into reality and we say, what is the next step I can take that will improve my life from where it was last week, last year, or five years ago? We're not always asking, well, but I'm not reaching my potential. I'm not reaching what I wanted to reach. Those are not the right things to compare. Our intuition will always be utopia. Our intuition will always be idealism. And leaning towards it is what's going to make the biggest difference. Not having achieved that. In our mind, things are perfect. In our mind, things make sense. But the reality is that things aren't perfect and people have, you know, certain problems within themselves that don't allow them to show up in the best way for them. There are certain things in the world that are going to hold you back of achieving everything you made up in your mind. But knowing that you can lean towards that, knowing that through that you're going to inspire others to also lean into their best selves, that's what's going to make us feel fulfilled. So be willing to choose your boring life. Your life will not stay boring forever. But if you're not willing to commit to your boring life, your energy will stay in your mind instead of using it to fuel your environment. Think about it. If you have all of this mental energy that you use to come up with ideas in your mind, then, you know, of course, there's not going to be enough left to make changes in the world. But if you just cap it off a little bit, you say, I'm not going to go overboard. And we all know going overboard with your first function is something everybody is prone to. So if we cut it off a little bit and we force ourselves to be as much connected with the real world as possible, you're inevitably going to use that energy to change your world, right? We're closing so many doors. So the one door that is open, which is our life, we're creating something amazing out of it. And it might not feel amazing at first, but what you'll know is that once you commit to this reality, first off, you'll have safety forever because nobody can take that away from you. You're not attuned to somebody else and based on how they're acting, that's going to make you feel good or bad or where their future is going. You're the creator of your life. So there is the security aspect, that safety net that allows you to take different risks because you know that at the end of the day, you got yourself, you're there for yourself, you're okay with your life and that's like good to start with and now let's make it great. Remember that is actually the entire concept of the audio guide. If you wanna have a first glimpse of how it works, then check out the free poster on the INFJ Epic Life Formula. And if you really wanna start taking action, get the audio guide today. It has helped so many INFJs. I've gotten such great feedback on it, so I can only recommend it. If you wanna work with me 101, that's also a possibility. And everything else I offer, you can find in the links in the description. And if you wanna watch another video now that is in alignment with today's topic, then check out the video you see on the screen right now. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.